All right, I'm not going to tell you where this place is, but is there really a hall of records under the Giza Plateau? What does this look like? A trash heap. A trash pile in Nazlet El Saman, a midden, that's called. And that's so Edgar Nazlet El Saman is the is the the village the next. Village. It is the village of the pyramids. Okay, okay. So when you're listening to Edgar Casey long ago, he said that the entrance to the Hall of Records will be found in a midden or a trash pile in Nazlet El Saman. Now, without going into a lot of this, this house was broken into by the Antiques Mafia, and in this area of the room, they dug straight down, but instead of going in one direction, they ended up taking some giants' uh, bones from this dig. And when underneath this was going this on, house? underneath this pile right here, you go straight down. All right. Now, this is not the way. I don't know. I could kind of say it. You've seen this room before, but <laughs> I'm not going to, because I want to protect the people that are there too. Right, right, right. But I was allowed when the, the mafia came in and the person that was living here was in jail. And so they came in and they dug down in this living room floor and they put four by fours and, and uh, plywood all the way down. So it was a safe dig. And I got wind of this in America. And so I just wanted to photograph it. When he got out of jail and come back, he went and redug. And I swear to you, the photographs will prove it that this dig was already done by somebody else and all we did was clean the box out of the 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 sand out of the box that would go straight down 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 when we got down into one area they they diverted a little bit but i think that uh it leads to the hall of records because i heard uh, uh a sound of water that we would pour uh, on the blocks down there and it would go down making shh which was to me was water going down steps. Like there was a cavity had, behind where you poured the water into? Yeah, it's a, a stairway because, you know, um, there's air blowing in my face also from, from the crack. And this is like 30, 40 feet down below the, the level of this floor. Mm -hmm. and so I didn't push and dig or anything like that. There was no gold found. It was just redigging where the antiques mafia had been in his house. And so by you, a little you came to this house before it was a trash pile like this. That I just want to get. Oh this. yeah, yeah, okay. All right, now just for you and the listener, I don't mind. There was a gentleman where we were sitting in the living room floor, and we were talking about him going down and following the the, the work of the archaeologist. And I was sitting on the floor with the mag or doing notes, and he was sitting there, and that was uh, secrets from the people in the village. Mm -hmm. This is that living room. The picture you showed previously at the top? Yes. Okay. At, no, no. The, yeah, uh, her, her, up a little bit where a young man is sitting with me and we're talking about the secrets. Yeah, you got we're two, sitting, two glasses of juice sitting there, that one? And this living room is where we were sitting, and it doesn't look like this now, of course, or then. But see, he's moved out because within 50 feet of here, six boys uh, got killed digging down underneath their home of which is a whole nother story, right, but, right, you right. know, this is all right. I mean, they're, they're within 20, 30 feet of the wall that separates the monument from the village. It's like the first row of houses um, uh, when you're between the walls. So this, to me, if, if anybody ever really wants to know where the Hall of Records, it's underneath and you access it through uh, this floor. But that's a lot of stuff to put up, and I would feel sorry for the the person. But he's not there now. You can see he's long gone, and and it's it's just turned into a trash pile. Sure. Okay. So you said they uh, you said they pulled out giant bones out of there. Yeah, uh, and the, when you're sitting there listening to the to the redig, because some of the people that were in the redig were sort of around when the mafia was digging, you know. And they were telling me that, yes, they put them in little long boxes, and they had cotton underneath it, and they took them out. And there was a tooth that was involved in that uh, uh, excavation by the mafia that somehow escaped them, and I was hoping to go back and get it. And I think back in the years where I was doing uh, an interview with Tracy Austin Peters, Let's Talk Paranormal, we were talking about this particular uh, event mm -hmm. where somebody 
broke in the house and, and that, but this is years and years later as to after I did go and we did redig and then they moved everybody out, this is the current state of the location that I felt was the entrance to the Hall of Records is right here. So, okay, just, just to make this clear, you're saying that they pulled out like bones of giants? Yes, the mafia. The antiques mafia. We didn't find any of that because when we got down to a certain point, they ran out of the uh, four by four or four by eight plywood sheets uh -huh. and the four by fours. And instead of going down more, which would have led me to the tunnels that they accessed. Now, when they accessed those tunnels, they had arched ceilings, and they would push the dirt in the in that uh, passageway. Uh, that passageway is uh, they push the sand to the left of it and the right of it and because it was arched then they could crawl along mm -hmm. uh, the passages that would be even uh, further down than than the area that I went because I didn't uh, see the giants but I know what I saw and photographed and, and one of these days I'll give a presentation on this whole dig because it's like 200 photographs associated with it <laughs> gotcha uh, yeah so and that's I'll obviously like a <laughs> Bones of Giants yeah, is obviously it's, very it's, tantalizing. Let's we'll get back to that. But again, Jesse, it deserves this, its own. You are not going to cover all of this in great detail, even in this little bitty one. I mean, I'm I'm showing you stuff now that uh, you uh, I, you know I, I just couldn't get it all to you. Sure. So now this is a good question here that comes up. Yeah, go ahead. All right. What's interesting, when you get in there, and right now the history says Khufu built this and it was a tomb for him, but what I think that we're going to find is the full-on knowledge of the Fibonacci ratios, where if I could pull this one up a little bit more, uh, if you followed that, where I showed you in that one drawing with the south reflection and all the light on the Great Pyramid, mm -hmm. taking the Fibonacci and backing him around down to those four little squares, this is in the mango orchard from the pyramids. Okay. And I found this one stone there, the one I showed you a picture of with a little N on it. That uh, is the black hole out of here, if I can use that term and anybody's listening, I won't go a lot of detail, but imploding in, in, in transmission, this was the zero point where everything was built around, where all the magnetics and everything that's associated with this limestone that's the beginning spot right there and I got myself photographs and stuff of that and it's all GPS plotted and and it is all a perfect mathematical thing now whenever I look at the, the this work here uh, regarding the pyramid sunlight summer reflecting out putting mirrors out here and sending that light back to the apex that's what my patent is it's using this building to control sunlight uh, flawlessly so I think the knowledge in the Hall of Records will describe this technology to us. But for me, who doesn't have access to the Hall of Records to build all of this just from reverse engineering uh, without blueprints, is that we will find the blueprints that will validate every bit of this work. Okay. And then when you get into, um, I had another piece on this that I was trying to, to, to push up. 